other news tonight, candidates vying for Ohio's U.S. Senate seat took the debate stage for the second and final time tonight in Youngstown. Republican J.D. Vance and Democrat Tim Ryan battled over many hot-button issues in the state as well as the country to include inflation, gun control policies, and more. Two News reporter Caroline Morris live with us in the studio with debate coverage right here on your local election headquarters. Well, during their second debate, candidates J.D. Vance and Tim Ryan discussed multiple issues, and at times there were interruptions and even perceived personal attacks. Now, one of the most contentious moments of the night surrounded the topic of immigration, with Ryan accusing Vance of aligning himself with politicians who aimed to stoke racist views. That you'll accuse me, the father of three beautiful biracial babies, of engaging in racism? We are sick of it. I think I struck a nerve. With this guy. You absolutely He's awesome. Tensions grew between candidates for Ohio's U.S. Senate seat Republican J.D. Vance and Democrat Tim Ryan Monday night. In their second debate, the candidates discussed a number of topics, including the country's inflation crisis, gun control, and Ohio's legislation on abortion. According to our exclusive Emerson College in the Hill poll, the majority of Ohioans oppose the state's current abortion law and are looking for change. I want to save as many lives as possible, and I'd love to get us to a country where young women don't feel pressured by boyfriends, by family to have abortions. They want to have a national abortion ban. They're not happy with people having to go to Illinois. They want people to get a passport and have to go to Canada. Largest governmental overreach in the history of our lifetime. However, both candidates agree that more needs to be done in Ohio schools to keep students safe, each suggesting changes to House Bill 99. It's a school teacher trained to shoot in that environment with all those kids running around. Like that is somebody who needs to be very well trained. I think a very, very important part of the solution of reducing crime, both in our schools and in our streets, is making sure, and it sounds crazy common sense, but making sure that we lock up violent criminals. Now, the election is nearly three weeks away. Vance and Ryan also debated the state's current opioid crisis, police reform, and the January 6th Capitol riots. For more on their debate, visit our website, WDTN.com, under your local election headquarters. Live in studio, Caroline Morse, 2 News, working for you.